All right, so uh, follow up video to the Akash video. In the last video, we set up a uh, provider. We set up the Akash uh, wallet, and we got that uh, Kubernetes cluster running. So what we're gonna do in this video, and I'll probably speed it up dramatically, um, we're just gonna run through how to set up a additional node for your cluster. So basically we're gonna run through the same commands that we ran to set up uh, container D networking Kubernetes on the previous uh, deployment, the provider. And we're gonna sync this with our provider. So really um, you can see here, yeah, I think real time this took about five minutes. Uh, we're just gonna cut and paste from that Google Doc that uh, that I wrote up, and we're gonna cut and paste up to the point where we are gonna insert our token. So on the last video, we uh, copied our token that was provided after we initialized our Kube admin. Now the only thing to take note here is that uh, the way that this video is done is it's all deployed on DigitalOcean within the same uh, network area. So for example, if you're in uh, the New York or if you're in the Europe, you want to stay inside the same region so that you're, um, you have access. You can access them through the external IP but you'll have dramatically faster access if you stay within the same uh, same data center, uh, sub millisecond ac access. So clearly, you can deploy wherever you like uh, because you are provided a public IP address with all these digital ocean um, deployments. And I use a digital ocean for, for, for no particular reason. Um, as your AWS would uh, work exactly, essentially exactly the same. The interface is a little different. I find that um, digital ocean is just pretty simple. Um, they call them droplets and you can choose uh, just based off of how many CPUs, how much RAM you want, and you want Intel, you want AMD. Uh, sometimes going through that AWS and their instances and it's, you know, TX large and all this uh, garbage. It's just not as straightforward, especially for making videos. So if you, uh, all these videos are geared towards basically step by step how to do it. This uh, Akash definitely you want to have some technical knowledge otherwise you're gonna you're gonna struggle even even cutting and pasting if you just cut and paste you won't understand what you've done and you won't be able to understand if it's working how to view your transactions view your bids and you'll wake up a week from now and have spent uh, all the cost that you funded your account with and won't know why so Got to be careful because if you're not getting, uh, if you're not winning bids, you're not fulfilling bids, uh, you won't uh, earn, and you will spend. It it does cost uh, one I think one thousand micro AKT for each bid that you make. So if you just have it running on a, you know, two CPU with eight gigs of RAM and no storage space. And the only uh, deployments that are out there are looking for four CPU with 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, you'll spend everything that you have uh, trying to get deployments. So here, see, we ran through that real quick. We copied over the token that was provided in our other node. It uh, signed with the node. And you can see here is our cost logs pretty shortly you'll see that it's showing two nodes 
I will show here uh, a Kosh demo and a Kosh demo two. So we have joined up with the uh, with the master, and we'll switch back here. We'll we'll open up the uh, log again and take a look. It, it'll take a little while to propagate with the storage space, the CPU, and the RAM. And again, these are this demo is deployed on a pretty small cluster, uh, just the provider and the one node, and they're both just two CPU, eight gigs. I'm gonna close this down after the video and uh, just rely on the other provider that's set up. So there you see, it's uh, listing two nodes. It's got our information. And again, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up. We'll keep, uh, hopefully you guys are interested and we'll keep the videos coming. Uh, thanks for the watch. Y'all have a good night.